Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a universal data link file and test our connectivity for SQL Server. So this is a very important scenario. You often work on SQL Server and you ask your DBA, hey, can I have some permission on one of the database? And he said, yes, why not? So let's say ADF is the database and he's going to create a username and password for you. So he went there and right click there and he said that new login. Now he's going to create a Windows authentication or SQL authentication. Authentication. In this case, uh, he's creating a, 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 a SQL authentication user. Now he's creating a user, let's say Amir. Now his uh, password is a test123 dollar sign, and uh, he provided uh, the password test123 dollar sign. Now he removed all that, and he's going to the user roles. So here he can might be making me sys admin or not, but uh, here uh, he will be using to the ADF. In the ADF, uh, he's given me data reader and data writer permissions. Uh, now hit OK and now he is saying, uh, he gave me in my email, he said that hey your name is Amir and uh, your uh, username, your uh, sorry, your password is 123 and uh, here maybe dollar sign first and then that's your password. Uh, somehow he made a type uh, in the type in a mistake. Um, so actually the password is 123 dollar sign at the end. Uh, but he gave me this username and password or maybe he auto generated something and he threw that uh, there and uh, you know. Um, that's how he gave me now i maybe do not i might not have a ssms like a dba and uh, what i need to do maybe i'm working in report in or some other tool where i need to test this connectivity so that's going to be a problem right if uh, i am uh, here on the ssms i'm going to go to the database engine i will say hey let me test my connectivity but think you don't have a permission or you even don't have a SSMS installed on your machine. So if you do test one, two, three, dollar sign, yes, it will connect. So you see right there, but I provided the correct password. So if you provide the password he did, so in this case, it was test one, two, dollar sign, and three. So if he does that, he will say log and fail for our user Amir and you will be good. But think you do you are not a SQL developer who has the SSMS. So. so there could be other scenarios where you are not having permissions to these direct tools to test that if this user is a correct and is the password is correct. So how we do test this? Now we know that this is a server name. He gave us a server name. He might have given us the ports and everything for that. So right now maybe he, this is the only thing he has given. So what we can do, we can create a UDL test. How we are going to do it, we are going to go to any file share system here, maybe a folder or desktop or wherever. You are going to right click and go to the new. And here you are going to say te test uh, text document. So click right there. And here it is uh, shown the extension dot txt. That extension you are going to change to the UDL. U for user, D for David, L for line. So hit OK. Now it's going to give you warning. Hit yes. Okay, now once you double click here, it's going to open a very nice fancy software uh, or an interface that can help us to test our connection without even SSMS or Visual Studio or anything like that. First of all, go to the providers and select the provider. There are tons of providers available here. In my case, I am going to use OLEDB provider for SQL Server. That's what I need. And then I'm going to go to the connection. And here I will be providing the server name provided by my DBA. So that's my SQL server name. And now what I'm going to do here, right there, my UDL has uh, disappeared. So I'm going to double click here, bring it back. And uh, right there, so provider wise, uh, uh, Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL. In the connection, I'm going to provide the, the SQL server name. And here, then uh, you can have uh, multiple authentication types. Uh, you can, uh, you, we might uh, use Windows authentication if he says, hey, your Windows account should have that permission on SQL Server. Or in this case, uh, what we are doing, we are using a uh, SQL user. So our SQL user is Amir, and uh, our, uh, the log uh, password he provided is the test one, two dollar sign three. That's what he provided. So now what happened? If I go ahead and uh, test this connection, First of all, it's not going to show me this database or anything like that. I can click right here or it's going to throw me error if I do that or I will hit the test connection and get the same type of error. So let it uh, complete. 
it's taken a couple of seconds so it says login timeout expired okay fine now another test uh, i can do uh, login fail catalog information cannot be retrieved so that's right because it cannot connect to the database right so what i'm going to going to do i'm going to hit the test connection if i will do this part is saying test connection failed because of an error in initializing provider so login fail for user amir so that's more uh, real time error and what you want to do you're going to hit okay and now this time we are going to go ahead and provide the actual password so we communicated on the email called him hey and told him hey this is the error i'm getting when i'm doing udl test so he's going to be happy say oh let me take a look because now we have a proof so we are going to hit the test one two three dollar sign and we are going to tell him we are all good here we are going to test and he's going to say test connection succeeded and now we can go and select our database right there so we can test the connection again we are all good we can hit okay now so our udl test for sql server is completed and i told you all those reasons why this test needed to be done and i hope you will be able to benefit from this video please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video